Okay, so we're going to start with a bit of pharmacology, and I'd like you to start off by drawing up a simple table comparing isoflurane and sevoflurane for me, please. Okay, so um, I've got a table, um, isoflurane and sevoflurane. Um, the uh, MAC of isoflurane is 1.17, and for sevoflurane is uh, 1.8. The uh, blood gas partition coefficient of isoflurane is 1.4, and for sevoflurane is 0 0.6. Um, the oil gas partition coefficient for isoflurane is, I'm sorry. Um, okay, what about saturated vapour pressure? Can you give me some values for that? For saturated vapour pressure for iso, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm All right, never mind. Uh, let's concentrate on these two, two terms here, blood gas solubility and oil gas solubility. What's the significance of those terms and those values? So blood gas partition coefficient relates to the um, solubility of the agent. Um, so the more soluble it is, uh, the slower the onset of action. Um, so sevoflurane's got a low blood gas partition coefficient, um, so its onset is quicker. OK, and what about oil gas solubility then? What's that all about? Oil gas partition coefficient relates to the um, onset of onset of anaesthesia. So that relates to the onset of anaesthesia as well. Yeah. Okay. This question is fundamental to anaesthetic practice, and as such, examiners will expect a reasonably thorough knowledge. In addition, the question asks for a moderate amount of factual information, even prompting that this should be presented in tabular form. This information needs to be relayed rapidly and accurately, allowing the examiners to move on and explore the understanding of the subject. It is important that during revision for the exam you practice writing tables with lots of comparative information. In particular, any area of pharmacology where a choice of drug is available lends itself to being asked in this way. Another example might be muscle relaxants. In the video example we can see that the candidate struggles to relay this fundamental information. This wastes precious time, increases the candidate's stress and potentially leads to confusion later on. Whilst it is not essential to know the absolute values, it is important to have an idea of relative values and how these affect the properties of the volatile agents. The candidate also fails in this regard, not being able to convey an understanding of some of the terms and their importance to anaesthetic practice. It gives the impression that the candidate does not understand how volatile agents work leading to an inevitable poor mark. If the factual information is delivered quickly and accurately, on the other hand, the candidate has more time to think and can use that time and the information that they now have in front of them to clearly demonstrate understanding, as we will see in this second video. OK, so we're going to start with first some pharmacology, uh, and I'd like to kick off by asking you if you could draw up a simple table comparing isoflurane and sevoflurane for me, please. OK, so I'd want to divide this and, and describe it in terms of the physical properties. So uh, we've got isoflurane and uh, sevoflurane. So the uh, boiling point for isoflurane is um, 48 degrees Celsius, whereas for sevo it's uh, 58 degrees. And you've got the MAC for um, isoflurane is 1.17 and for sevoflurane is 1.8. The blood gas partition coefficient for isoflurane is 1.4 and for sevoflurane is 0.7. And the oil gas partition coefficient uh, 98 for isoflurane and 80 for sevoflurane. And the uh, saturated vapour pressure is 32 kilopascals for isoflurane and uh, 23 kilopascals for sevoflurane. Let's concentrate on these two terms here, blood gas solubility and oil gas solubility. What do they mean? 
So the blood gas partition coefficient is a dimensionless number. It's a ratio of the amount dissolved in uh, the gaseous phase compared with that dissolved in blood. It relates to the solubility and the partial pressure that brings builds up in the alveolus. So it's um, a greater partial pressure is created by sevofluorine. Therefore, it um, acts. This onset of action is quicker. Okay, and the oil gas solubility. So that relates to the uh, lipid solubility of the agent. Um, the more lipid soluble it is, the more potent it is. So it relates to potency. Okay, and what is MAC? MAC is the minimum alveolar concentration, and it is the amount, the concentration of the agent within the alveolus that uh, prevents uh, a response in 50% of the population um, to a standard surgical stimulus at standard pressure.